much. It's a great honor to be here to present my presentation. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the step-by-step -step approach to crossing out occlusion approach and the role of Ivers. Uh, I have another closure. Uh, the primary patency for out lesion is promising. Uh, let's see the case, a uh, 49 year old male who had the bilateral publication, uh, we found the aortic collision, then I pulled the stand. Uh, after two years, uh, no recurrent symptoms, no listenosis was found. Another case, 73 year old male who have also the uh, bilateral publication uh, from the angiography, uh, high aortic occlusion was found uh, like this. And then I pulled the stand. Here is the initial result. Uh, this, I pulled the sorry, expanded stand, but uh, stand uh, does not is not free uh, expansion. Uh, however, one month later, here is a follow-up angiography. We do nothing. Uh, however, a stent has been gradually expanding by itself. Uh, so, a good uh, vessel uh, was made. So, up to five years, no listenosis was found. So, no uh, recurrent symptom uh, was found. Uh, the, uh, from here, is from the, our registry, uh, the clinical outcome after the uh, LDLX CD of stenting uh, is pretty good. Uh, let's see the primary patency. The five year primary patency is 76.5%, pretty high. So, also, the TRL free rate at five years uh, is 88.6%. Uh, almost 90% uh, the the very very high high percentage as you know uh, so if you can put the stent uh, so the long-term patency is a promising therefore the aim of the aortic iliac CTO procedure at uh, the uh, to pull the stent without the complications. Uh, let's see the implication. Here is a detail of the perioperative complications. Uh, around this 20 percent of the uh, perioperative complications is the access side complication. So usually we uh, use the uh, growing. Uh, however, if we can choose radio access, uh, we can avoid the uh, uh, more complication in terms of the uh, access site. Uh, if we can have the uh, long shaft uh, like this one, 50 centimeter, uh, the from here to here, so you can easily access the to the uh, iliac lesion like this. Also, a uh, long shaft cyst can avoid the much radio exposure com uh, compared to the uh, standard cyst. So, specifically, after the procedure, it's easier to access the vessel. Uh, it's very easy, like this. For the procedure, he can go back to his ward on foot with no provocation. Okay, let's talk about the role of IVERS for the out iliac CDO. So we uh, usually check by using the IVERS, uh, the legion characteristics. Uh, this is a before AVT, after the guide wire passage. Uh, then after the uh, guide wire passage, so usually we can do the balangioplasty. Uh, then we also check by IVERS, uh, the, the dissection grade or suboptimal or not. Then uh, finally, uh, after building the stent, uh, 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 I, 
I check the stand mark position, the shape. Uh, so if we can use the iris, uh, uh, three times the iris checking uh, is needed, I think. Uh, today, I, I like to focus on the shape after the especially the length stand with stand. How do you check the shape uh, by Ivers? Uh, let's see the case. A 75 year old male uh, who had a bilateral qualification. As you can see, the uh, tight stenosis was found in the right common iliac uh, artery, uh, also the left common iliac occlusion. Uh, after the guide wire uh, passage, I pulled the uh, cover stand, uh, balloon expandable cover stand VVX uh, with a kissing stand technique uh, like this. However, actually, uh, here is a terminal aorta. Uh, the kissing balloon uh, standing, uh, the figure is here. Uh, the big terminal aorta, we can see the eight figure uh, balloon expandable stand. Uh, how, however, I like to make her T shape, double T shape, to avoid the a position of a stand. How do we make a, a double D shape? It's a very easy. M more bigger size balloon uh, was used. Uh, the balloon plastic uh, was performed with a bigger size balloon. In turn, uh, like this, then. Uh, kissing balloon technique was performed uh, with the optimal size. Here is a final result. Uh, the it looks like pretty nice. With the ivers. Here is a terminal aorta. As you can see, the right, uh, left side, and the right side, uh, the both BBX uh, uh, is. The, the, the shape uh, is a D shape like the here. Here's the L, the, the D shape found. Now, this is a shaver of the double D shape technique. So, initially, you pull the uh, stent uh, simultaneously, then, uh, bigger size blend plus it was performed in turn, then. Uh, balloon plastic again over the optimal size, then you can make a D shape like this. In summary, uh, today, uh, long term patency after standing is promising. The aim of procedure for LDLX CD is to put the stand safely without complications. Main causes of the complication is the access side complication. Uh, therefore, to achieve this aim, ready access and the iris are very useful and helpful. Thank you for your attention.